Hi everyone! So I got a package in the mail and I've been waiting to um, open it up around when I had, um, I don't know, <laughs> some time. Uh, we've been busy having our in-laws visiting so that was really nice and fun but now I'm here and I am going to be opening some happy mail. I'm going to start off with there's the stuff. I'm excited for it. I'm going to start off with some items that will not make me cry yet. <laughs> um, there is a customer special and it's still going on, I believe. Um, these are the earrings. Aren't they just beautiful? They are very fall, very... Um, inspired by the fall season and that's why I didn't have earrings on yet. I knew I was getting these and I wanted to put them on. Hey Brandy, how are you? <laughs> Thanks for showing up. Um, so these earrings are gorgeous. I love the purple hues. This um, collection is just beautiful. This set and the set came with not just the earrings, but it also came with a gorgeous ring. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at that. How many of you love chocolate and love purple? This is an ombre purple around the rim of the ring, and it is just beautiful. I have been waiting and waiting for this to show up in the mail, and I'm so excited that it's here. And keeping with the fall theme, I have this super cute charm that you guys may remember seeing when I was showing you the little fall, fall gifts that we got um, during the online convention that we had. And thinking ahead, I've put a little sticky tack on the back so that I can do this, put it inside my ring see that and it says love because I have an idea for a tiny little jewelry photo shoot later and there you have it you have love and it's one of our prism rings and it's gorgeous 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 so I want to put that on all right so those are two pieces that I was so excited about and I ordered our um chocolate and lilac shadow necklace i posted that on my page um on my facebook on my instagram earlier today um i can't wait for it to come in the earrings and the necklace are gonna look beautiful with this set that i just put on the next thing that i'm excited for is a new watch band um these were um they sold out before i got one this you guys is a mesh watch band and i'm so excited because those of you who know high-end jewelry you get a lot of the um, mesh bands and just looks so professional so high class and in preparation i already took off the other watch band from my um storyteller watch so that i could put this mesh band on so i'm really excited about that let us put this on see it's got that really easy clasp feature we're just gonna stick this on here and another thing that i love about this jewelry is you can just mix and match it's amazing and i have my little handy dandy little I love what it says in the back. Of course, I've worn it a bit, so it's starting to look worn, unfortunately. <laughs> but hey, you got to wear stuff. It says, trust the timing of your life. All right, let's put the other side on. This mesh band is just beautiful. I can't wait to see the, the look at the end. Here we go on the other side. You know. Again, there's just these little holes right there. I'm just going to stick that in there. And then this on the other side. 
and let's see if I can do this. I'm having a little bit of trouble. <laughs> I didn't have so much trouble on the other side. This side's there we go. All right. See, isn't that beautiful? My gosh, that is gorgeous. Might have to adjust it at some point if it's too big. Um, and I don't know how to actually clasp this, um, but something like that. I'll have to adjust it. But for now, there you have the look of this beautiful mesh band on the watch. All right, I'll set that aside for now. Um, and the rest of the stuff I have here, um, and you'll have to excuse me because as you all know, we had to put down our sweet comma and, um, it was, it was really hard. And even now it's hard still think of her she was a sweet dog and even though we have Dante we still love her and um, we got a few things to be able to wear to be able to remember her this was what Odette chose she wanted a dog tag for her little memorial necklace so it comes in a cute little package and she was the one who decided on this saying she wanted it to say happy memories happy life and then to have Kama's name on it so that was what Odette chose really simple really beautiful and um she chose um a little peanut chain for her necklace and I didn't have the girls here with me so that they wouldn't get too upset on camera. Alegria doesn't like to show emotion in public. I, mean, I don't think Odette does either, but um, I'm okay with being real with you guys. So this was Odette's, and I'll give this to them a little bit later. But that was what she chose, a little peanut chain and a little dog tag. So she'll be able to wear that and sort of like her dad wears his dog tags, she'll be able to wear that and have it near her at all times. Alegria and I, we chose to get ourselves the Always With You pendant. And um, so this pendant, it can be used for not just pet loss it could be used for your family member loss and um or basically anything really so this is the pendant and um what's really special about this is you can actually open it um oh i forgot to bring my my little oh there we go so see, you can open it and you can put ashes inside or Alegria, she, she was there when they put Kama down. And um, when we received Kama's ashes, she didn't want to look at them at all. She refused to look at the container, which is understandable. Um, she said she wanted to put... Um, maybe a bit of Kama's hair because we haven't washed any of her bedding yet. We still have her favorite stuffed animal. We still have her bedding. We haven't disposed of anything. So she was thinking that she would put maybe some of Kama's hair in there. And she chose a small little chain so that it's closer up to her heart or I guess her neck. Um, so that she could remember Kama. And so this is Alegria's little necklace to always have Kama near her. And it's called the Always With You Pendant. So that's hers. I got myself one too. So 
so we got two of those. Um, and um, we also, because the girls have, they have their own little lockets, and I have a locket, locket as well. Yes, Megan, my ring light is a heart. Thank you. I actually made it myself. <laughs> um, so we also, each of us, we have um, locket necklaces that are round. Um, I had posted a picture of this pearl necklace before when I made a little necklace um, for pet or uh, remember rainbow rem, rem, rainbow bridge remembrance day so this is what I have that I was going to just show you the different charms that we got we got um, a lot of cute little charms to put in our lockets um, the girls they they have their own lockets that are um, let me see I'm going to take one of the girls' lockets out this one, let's see, I think is Odette's. <laughs> oh, we, they haven't worn them since Easter. We haven't really gone anywhere um, since we couldn't even do church. Um, we just barely started going about a month ago. But this is theirs, and it opens up. It's a um, flip-up lid um, top. But, so, I also got us all these charms to be able to put in those lockets and layer um, the necklaces. So I wanted to show you the different um, little charms that we got to remember comma by. Um, we got this cute little <laughs> diamond bone. It's really cute and I'm going to be putting these in um, some of these lockets as I, as, as I show them to you in my watch and I even have a bracelet here in case I don't have enough room. So look at that tiny little Tiny little dog bone with crystals in it. I think I'll put that one in my storyteller watch. Um, let's see. And then we got um, letters. I'm going to pour these all into my hand because <laughs> it's hard to get to them from there. All right. Let's see. We got this cute little paw charm. Maybe I'll put these down so I can... See if that'll focus on it. This cute little paw charm. That's adorable. And then we got um, the letters K <laughs> and then A. A lot of people would think um, when we'd tell them that her name was comma, they'd be like comma. They thought it was the punctuation mark, but it's actually um, a shortened form of kamakana, I think, something like that, that is actually a Japanese word for gift. Um, and she was a true gift to our family. We really enjoyed having her in our family. <laughs> There's the letter M. Um, and I'm sure a lot of you, those of you who have had pets or have pets, know how, how much they mean to us in our lives. <laughs> So there was that. Let's see. We also got um, this little charm that says never forgotten. I don't know if you can see the words on it. It's never forgotten. Um, let's see what else did we get? And uh, let's see. These were some of our new fall charms. These little hearts, the little black heart. That's really cute. And then the last one. Um, is this new um, heart charm that has a little paw on it. Thank you, Brandy. This little heart that has a paw on it. And, you know, it's so funny because I ordered these charms and when we received Kama's ashes in this little container, the top of it actually has a little heart with a paw inside of it. Just like this little charm. And I'm so grateful that we can have this in our locket to remember her by. She was just a sweet dog and we miss her still. Um, but... Now we can K 
carry a piece of her with us or in a locket just put all these things together to remind her of remind us of her and I even told the girls I said we can print off a picture um, of comma and put it in the back so that we can also have her image with us in our locket and then um, let's see here I have and then in the watch we just don't have too much in there but anyways that that was um the, that was all the stuff that I had there in our little in our our remembrance um items thank you Rapika thank you so much um so yeah um thank you for being here with me and I'm excited to show the girls their their charms and hopefully that'll help them remember comma even more um and to those of you who have lost a pet I hope that you found a way to be able to remember them also um yeah I guess that's about it I hope you guys have a wonderful day um I think Alegria and her dad are back from the library now so um, we're gonna get ready to have dinner too she was such a sweet dog Rapika thank you um but it's been great talking to you guys I'm sorry that I haven't been around um it's actually been um Thank you. It's actually just a scarf. I just um, wrapped it around my head and put a bow, <laughs> but it's just a scarf, um, Brandy. Um, but we're trying to, we are trying to just um, figure out our schedules. Like I said, my in-laws were visiting, so we were just out having fun and visiting things and um, being all touristy and stuff and getting to see a few places here in the area. And um, in fact, my kids, we had planned on them starting school this week, but we decided at the at the end of um, last week to just not even <laughs> try to start school with visitors here. <clears throat> yes, you did, Rapika, you're right. Um, so we are actually going to start school with the kids um, next week. Um, so that'll be interesting. We'll have to figure out our school schedules, Cameron's schedule, my schedule. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have been having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for everybody who joined me. Um, if you ever have any questions about any of the items that I show you, shoot me a text or a message, um, or even comment on my videos and I'll be able to, um, let you know. I will, Brandy. Where are you moving to? I will definitely pray for you guys. Um, hoping, I hope everything goes really well. I know moves are so hard. Um, uh, when we moved, it was it was quite <laughs> quite the experience. So I really know what that's like. Thank you, Rapika. Aloha to you too. Um, but. Thank you so much again for joining me. Let me know if there's ever anything that you're interested in looking at or knowing more about, and I will um, message you back and we can talk. And um, again, I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.